Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we're going to make a dance hip hop beat right inside of FL Studio. Let's hop straight into it. So here if we go to the channel rack, I have all the samples for you guys and I'll give you guys the project files for free. All right. So that's one. Shake, wobble, mix, clap. And then we'll find a kick or an 808. Okay, so firstly we want to just drag in this, da -da 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 -da, this loop here. It's going to drag it in. Double click on the loop. Make sure you go to mode, stretch mode. Okay, and then right click. Use your time knob to left click and drag it out. Now let's go to song mode and map it out to the nearest bar. And it should loop perfectly, okay? So now we have that, let's hit control B. Now we're gonna speed this up to a, damp a danceable BPM. A danceable BPM is anything in the 90s basically, or uh, I guess at double time you get. So about 84 BPM normally, but we're at 168. Okay, so because some of these are on audio, audio, we're going to go to macro switch all audio clips to real time stretching so we don't constantly get that message popping up. Okay, so next week, we're gonna add the fillers before we start adding the drums. So let's go to pattern one, let's add this in, and we're just gonna add little change ups over time. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then you could end it with the doom, 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 doom at the end. So this is really based on your style of ending stuff. This is similar to a drum fill. Now this has a little gap, so we're gonna trim that. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding the drums. We're gonna make sure it's not on loop mode. Actually, for this one, I do kind of want to truncate it sound. So let's go to envelope. Let's go to volume envelope, pull everything else down except the hold parameter. Now when you press your key, it will truncate the note so it won't drag all the way out. Hit control L to send that to the mixer. Let's record notes on automation. Let's turn the metronome on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two. Okay, so I spread them out. So that's the pattern for the open hi hats. Just double click to go inside the pattern. And we're going to hit Control Q to quantize. Now let's go to our channel rack and let's start adding our snares in here to add a bounce. So we're gonna do like a lot of dip, dip type snares. So at the end, just switch this ending. We're gonna change out the ending probably. Now mine went dun dun dun. So instead of going dun 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 like that, we're gonna go dun 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 dun. Spread it out. Okay, so even with the sample, we could either chop it up and have it loop. Let's go to snap to grid, one half beat. Grab your slice tool, hit shift, do a vertical slice, and just have it repeat so it's not playing the entire thing. So let's hit shift. If that's too repetitive, we can even slice it even further. So you can even add DJ scratches to have that flip. Let's speed up the tempo. Now we're in the 90s where it's a lot more bouncy.
Let's switch up the ending a little bit. So one of these needs to change, whether the snare or the... So you can see we're adding the drums after the bounce. Let's add some claps. So we're going to layer this with a clap on the three and the seven. You guys will get the project file, so you don't have to memorize every step. Let's do a clap every other. So it's one, two, blank, one, one, two, clap. We could add cowbell to add more bounce. Okay, so I'm going to try to add some of these vocal chants. Bar. So let's line this, this up. So now we have all the high frequency stuff. Now let's work with the lower frequencies like the kick and the eight away. For this genre, I found that really unique 808s can make the beat stand out because it's not your typical 808. So I'm gonna try this 808 from a new jazz drum kit and we're going to base it around that first rhythm. So it's boom, boom, boom. Now let's add a little tiny delay to the 808 so it's not so quantized. Let's add some time shift. That adds a little bounce, that little time delay. Let's fade this 808 out so that it's a lot shorter. We need to make the 808 match the actual um, pattern at the end there. So now we just need that extra thing to make the second half of the beat sound a little bit different, but the vocals are gonna be the main thing for this type of beat.
I'm at more hi hats to add more bounce. You guys will get the project files for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio to get these project files for free. Thank you guys for watching. It's game from busyworksbeats.com. Peace.